feels like an arms race out here for for military might with with stuff. I mean, we're still stockpiling nukes. Like it's crazy. Yeah, it is insane. Stockpiling nukes in anticipation of the day that we have to use them. I mean, at that point, the yeah. world is over. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Why did we, after the first nuke, I think everybody, after the first two, excuse me, I think everybody should have been like, okay, like, <laughs> we're, we're done. That was too much devastation. You That's know? just not in the human nature, though. If one person discovers this really cool thing that gives them ultimate power, they're not just going to give that up because everyone else says, hey, guys, this might be a bad idea. I know. Maybe maybe that's a step of, in our evolutionary growth is when we hit that stage of realizing that killing ourselves is not worth it. <laughs> well, we're still stuck in this phase where I'm me, you're you, I'm white, you're black, I'm a man, you're a woman, I'm an American, you're a Russian or a Chinese person. Yeah. And that is just going to keep us stuck in, like you said, this evolutionary phase instead of putting us on Mars or eliminating poverty. Amen. I'd be very, I'm, I'm very open about that stuff, man. I try my hardest um, to be pro everything, gender is fluid, sexuality is fluid, you know what I mean? We're fluid because we're all one people and we got to love each other and it's not it's not worth what we're doing which is like putting everybody in a box separating us out so that the one percent get to make money off of everybody it just doesn't make any sense you know yeah for sure but i understand that um you know like at this point bro i thought about it the the economy and everything and everybody especially us in america is tied into this system that we've created and if you want to bring that down you're talking about devastation yeah saw that with covid right just imagine if covid instead of killing whatever percentage it did bump those numbers up to let's say 10 15 percent of people are gone Crazy. we would still be fucked be a lot of job offerings <laughs> <laughs> but yeah bro that'd be honestly crazy that we haven't had another black plague and that was covid kind of came close to that and you know it's still covid's still out here we shouldn't be talking like it's it's gone well the fact that that happened that there was a black plague at one point in humanity's history that killed all those people yeah i heard we were hella unsanitary back then though you know what i mean that's probably true it's sudden, just... but it's like it you know, I don't know. When you think back on the times and what was going on, it's like, ah, yeah, okay. Kind of makes sense that everybody got sick. Yeah. But when was the Black Plague? Was that 1600s or something? Or I believe was it, it was the 1400s. Yeah, I believe it was the 1400s. I don't know why. That's like the one part of history that I thought was kind of sick. Like with all the knights and castles and stuff. Yeah, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, right? People were living in castles, claiming little areas, and just like, what really gets me is jousting. Why are you on a horse, running at each other with a giant wooden spear? Like, you know you're going to get hurt. There's no other why, game that we could have played? <laughs> why is watching people get injured one of the most entertaining things ever, though? UFC, NFL, <laughs> jousting. Why is... Even watching people get hurt is sometimes kind of funny. Yeah, Why right. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think it's, well, lately I feel like people have been betting on it, you know, and they love gambling and making money and they've created an industry around it. But it's also just the battle of strength, bro. Who doesn't want to see who's stronger than the other guy? That's true. Yeah, it's, yeah, at least that's what I think it is. Like, the you know, because it used to be boxing, right? And they had the gloves and it was there were a lot of rules and now it's like people watch ufc there's no gloves people are kicking bringing each other to the ground beating each other in the face it's it's definitely a competition of strength i saw some shit the other day that people in times of war actually have higher dopamine levels across the board because it gives them wow. a sense of community and a goal that these people are working towards together 
man. That's interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's interesting. Well, it goes back to what we were talking about, how tribal we are. I'm, I'm not an anthropologist or a historian or anything, but if you subscribe to the idea that we evolved in little groups of people in villages, it would make sense. It does. I've been, um, I've been on like a health journey because I, I gained a lot of weight last year, so I've been trying to lose it. And I've been looking into intermittent fasting, right? And our bodies are hella tribal, like you say. And we have evolved to like be able to like live off of not eating for a couple days type shit. Oh yeah. And like, yeah, if you just eat within an eight hour window and then don't eat for 16 hours, like your body like can handle that shit and you're gonna lose a lot of weight low key. Well, we've somehow been brought up in this American environment where you have to have eggs and bacon for breakfast and then this and then that. And it's like, if you don't get three meals a day, you're unhealthy. Yeah. And I, I know that there's been a lot of discourse in the nutrition community, like lately, and they've, they've introduced new diet plans and ways you can eat and stuff like that too. But you're right. Like everybody's brainwashed into like breakfast in the morning, you got to get a lunch and then dinner's the big meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, And I think you... it's actually, it's, it, 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 I think it's healthier to eat the big meal first, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm sure it's different for everybody, but yeah, yeah, our bodies are probably inclined to wake up in the morning and actually going out to find food, not just eating something right off the bat. Um, do you, do you watch any YouTube? Oh yeah, I live on YouTube. Yeah, me too. I, <laughs> I've been watching this one guy, uh, YBS Youngblood. He's this Australian dude who lives in some remote area of the outback, right? Like right on the ocean. And they go out and they fish for all their, their protein, you know, type shit. And they live sustainably off the earth. And they be eating like one meal a day, maybe two. Because they're, you know, they got to go out and fish and find this food. And uh, mm. I could never do that myself, but there, there's something cool in that, you know, like that's how we're supposed to live. Don't eat too much, live sustainably. And you only really need one big meal a day. Yeah. There's something kind of disconcerting about that to me where I wonder if shit really were to hit the fan, whatever the nuke gets dropped or the store shelves just get completely empty. Would I be able to go out and hunt something or fish for something and skin it and cook it and know what's this and what's that. Yeah. No, we, we just don't really have those skills unless you, as a kid, go out and learn them on your own and someone teaches it to you. You know that, uh, that old adage that you can't teach uh, an old dog new tricks? I think that's bullshit. And I think that you and me right now could go learn how to do that shit. Like as adults, like, you know, like, I think there's a lot of information out there and I agree that like learning it as a kid helps, but I think we, I think we could figure it out, bro, bro. I think we got this shit. Not hunting, you out on a hunting trip. I don't think I could hunt. I, I could fish and I, I could figure out how to fillet a fish correctly. You know, you basically just, there's a spine every time, you know what I mean? And you, you, you don't want to cut into its stomach. I know the two basic things, but. And I love fishing. I think I could figure it out, bro. I, th I think we got this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, drop the nukes. Drop the nukes. Ty and I need to go try something real quick. We're going to drop an album in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Be fire, dude. I saw I saw a video of some guy go camping. Uh, he went, like, glamping and shit, and he brought his whole, like, music set up and shit. It was like he was out on the lake fishing, and he was making beats at the same time. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs>